ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, got a little something we're going to show y'all. Security is the bill of exchange. The collateral security is the promissory note. The collateral security is the bill of exchange. Oh, hold on, hold on, Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear what he said? The collateral security is the bill of exchange. Now, I want you to pay attention to what he just said. The collateral security is the bill of exchange. No, no, no. Pay attention. The collateral security is the bill of exchange. Let me say it again because y'all didn't hear me. The collateral security is the bill of exchange. So when you do a bill of exchange, the collateral for the bill of exchange is the bill of exchange. But when you pay attention, use the Federal Reserve Act, it has to be accompanied by an application. Pay attention when you use the Federal Reserve Act and you are attaching a bill of exchange under the Federal Reserve Act because that's the official law for the United States for the use of bills of exchange. It is the Bill of Exchange Act. Sorry. It's hard to explain this to people because they can't see, because they're too busy looking through their eyes and not seeing with their mind. They're not seeing with understanding. People, you heard the Lord Jesus say, let him that has an eye see you don't see with your eyes ladies and gentlemen a five-year-old kid knows you can't see with your eyes your eyes don't see anything your eyes are flesh they can't see anything what you do is you see through your eyes hold on did i did somebody just wake up that's the real awakening that everybody keeps talking about when you start to see and hear, you don't hear with your ears. Your ears are flesh, people. He said, let the one who has an ear hear. You don't hear with your ears, people. You hear with your mind. So once you start understanding this, then you can start understanding this. I told you, I have understanding because the true God allows me to have that understanding. I get to see the law. I don't read the law. I get to see it for what it is. Let me show it to you. And I promise you, with the aid of my God, I can proclaim myself the goat. I guarantee you the information I'm about to give you. Nobody else has. Now, I can do it now because I talked to a young man and they did their research listening to the videos and they just about got it. So technically, I'm doing this to help them because they were missing one piece and once they listen to this they will be able to put the pieces together and move forward and get some other things accomplished ladies and gentlemen the essence is in the pudding what's the pudding follow the link in the description excuse me in the title the link is always attached to the wording in the title we went back and corrected the other links already YouTube is interfering with the links. That's your fault if you don't pay attention to the videos and follow them in sequence. My videos are sequential, people. One after the other, after the other, after the other. That's how people are getting their education. Eventually, I'm not going to have the ability to do this. He's already informed me way back in 2001, and it's crept up on me. So that's why you see there's been a push to push out information. And I know this is going to lead to some problems for me because it's too much information at one time. And, well, you know, they said they warned me. That's right. Officer Keith Smith came to me and told me that I was doing too much and I needed to stop. Literally told me. They always give you two warnings. So he came back. About a month and a half later and said, hey, you're doing too much, you need to stop. I told him, okay, I will, and I didn't. And so, two and a half years, no, two years and two months of my life gone. Yay. Ain't that something. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the mix of things. As I told you, this, I got to download the song, so y'all excuse me for one second. We're going to download the full video. And then after that's done, 
it'll be up separately by itself and then we will um it's called ascending the window the discount window everybody wants to know how to access the discount window well we're going to show you how to access the discount window seriously no joke ladies and gentlemen hold on don't you guys know that's how I got my start on YouTube? So I did a video showing how I paid off 17 people's credits with an hour style money order, a money order I created. I hadn't been watching any videos to do that, ladies and gentlemen. I just did it. I had a history. I'd been messing with things in the past, but that was the first time I actually, I did it for myself. That was the first time I actually did it for someone else. When I tell people I don't have any debts, I can't get nothing on a credit card or anything because I don't have any credit. I don't have any credit and I don't have any debt. And that's been the case since 2012, well, 2011 when I did it for me, but I did it for those other people in 2017. Hold on. Go back and look at the latest hour style money order. Don't go back to the original hour style money orders. No, they kept changing policies and things, so we had to adapt. But please understand, there you see bill of exchange right on the instrument all the time. Bill of exchange. Why? Even the IRS accepts bills of exchange. I've done the video showing that to you guys. I didn't get that information from anybody else. I got that information from me. Well, from the God that I serve. See, that's how I know for me he's the true God. Because everything he allows me to understand, I can back it up, I can prove it, and I can give him the credit. See, that's it. He's the one who makes me the GOAT at this particular time. Because I can back up everything I say. I'm not just talking. I got a lot of people who are doing videos out there, and they're not showing people what they're talking about, and that really does bother me and offend me. Then I have a lot of people doing videos out there, and they're getting the information from me, getting the information from my videos, from my older videos. And they're saying the stuff, and they're they're going to change it up now because I'm about to tell you how I know they're getting it from me because I say things a certain way. I do that because of the problems I have with memory. So I repeat the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again all the time. Go back and listen to my videos, and you already, some of you guys who have been listening to me for years, you know exactly what I'm about to say next because you know that I repeat the same thing over again. And thus, that's how I know that they're getting it from me because they're repeating it exactly the same way I say it. Ta-da! Very few people have I listened to that are not spewing something that I have put out there. People say, well, you're getting your information from people like Patrick Devine. Wasn't getting anything from Patrick Devine. As I said before, I'll say it again. I don't know Patrick. I didn't know Patrick Devine. I didn't know his videos. Patrick Devine, when I did try to listen to one of his videos, I realized his personality and mine were too much alike. We would not have gotten along. We would not have been able to stay in the same room for too much longer with each other in the same room. That much I do know. I have nothing but respect for Patrick Devine because you see, I have his stuff on our website and I keep sending people to that. Why? Because he was saying pretty much the same stuff I'm saying. Patrick Devine called his money order a money order in 2008, two years before I did mine. Okay, I didn't get mine from Patrick. I didn't even know who Patrick was. I wasn't even on the internet like that in 2008. I was in the middle of New Mexico running a farm. <laughs> anyway, uh, but be that as it may, I don't get my information from that source, from other people. I get my information from the source. Okay, I'm so glad we got that taken care of because, you know, I, I was thinking we were going to have to Talk about it again and again. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. I can click on this one. It's the same thing. I'm not exaggerating. I've written thousands of our style money orders. Ladies and gentlemen, I have written thousands of our style money orders. Literally thousands. You know, the rest of you guys get that this thing is unacceptable and all that. They don't send that back to me. Now, when we did it for other people, you know, for the company, we did it for other people. They not responded. So we're getting ready to go after them. There are certain laws. I'm not going to tell you about this law just yet because this is I found this and I'm not going to give it to you. So you're just going to have to just going to have to live with it. 
but there are certain laws to take care of them when they don't do what they're supposed to do. Eventually, I am going to give it to you guys, probably in about two months or so. But for right now, no, this is us right now. This is a company thing, and I've given that to the company, and I'll give it to you guys later. But for right now, that's just just the way it is, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not talking to you. Or him, or her. I'm talking to them. Now, go back and read the Federal Reserve Act, Title 16, subsections 2 and 4. It says that the collateral security is the promissory note, bill of exchange, banker's acceptance, trade acceptance, draft, or government obligation accompanied by Federal Reserve Operating Circular Appendix Number 3. Go back. That's the application packet. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have been doing it without the application packet. Duh! You're sending your promissory notes and your bills of exchange to these companies and you're not attaching the application packet. Appendix number three. I told you the young man, and I can't think of your name, young man. The young man who pointed me in the direction of appendix number three. I didn't know it existed. He gave it to me. And when he gave it to me, I... Ding, 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 ding. All the other times I was paying things off with the fact that I knew that I could. But if you're going to do it with a Federal Reserve agent or a Federal Reserve bank or a Federal Reserve membered bank or a membered bank of the Federal Reserve, then you appendix number three. Okay? Those two have to go together. Follow the rules, people. Now, let's talk about those rules. We, we, we're going to let him talk just one more time because this is only a snippet. Back in reading 12 USC 412. Don't say I didn't tell you I gave you everything you need to know. No, click on the link and follow the conversation. Okay, so let's follow the conversation. We're going to show you a conversation. Oh, no, no, we, we ain't doing that version. Well, that's the actual, that's, that is the version, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's the actual version, that's the full song, that's gonna be played after this video and in its own separate video, so y'all just gonna have to wait for that, I didn't want to play the whole song, because we, we going country a little bit, you know, we, we going country, now I want y'all to see the, where the conversation went, okay, because y'all need to know, National Currency Act of 1864, Bill of Exchange, required what kind of collateral in order to be lawful, it gave me all this junk. Look what it says. According to the National Currency Act, bill of exchange needed to meet certain collateral requirements in order to be considered lawful. However, the specific collateral requirements in that bill of exchange, Jack, were not mentioned because it didn't require any collateral. Hold on now. So it gets me all of this. During the National Currency Act, there was specific collateral for bills of exchange. Now pay attention. Acceptable collateral. The act specified bills of exchange could be secured by collateral in the form of United States bonds. Ladies and gentlemen, that's 1864. There is no way in the world the act would require United States bonds to secure bills of exchange. That's what it does now. It didn't do that then. Stupid. But see, that's for people who don't know what the act says and what the laws were of that time. Direct obligation to the United States. That's also 1933. Watch this. Come on, Cornell Law. I ain't got all day. See, how did I know it was going to do credit law? Because that's where it's getting it from. It's getting it from 1933 and forward. Special drawing rights, again, 1968. It is doing current bills of exchange. I didn't ask it about current bills of exchange. I said 1864. So it says it established a national currency and system security. And then I told him, I said, you're a liar. Acceptable collateral, as specified in the bills of exchange, uh, could be secured by collateral in the form of United States bonds. I just took what it said, and I was saying you were a liar. And it says, I'm very sorry for the confusion. You are correct. There is no federal bank. There was no federal banking system at the time of the National Currency Act. I made an error. Unfortunately, I could not find what you're looking for, homie. So then it starts talking about this junk, and so I tell it again. You are lying again. In the 1900s, collateral required for bills of exchanges was the bill of exchange itself. This was taken directly from the Federal Reserve Section 16, paragraph number two and four, stating that the bill of exchange and or the promissory note was the collateral and the security. 
The law also specified that it was the intent of Congress, according to the March 9, 1933 Act, for the collateral security to be in the form of bills of exchange, notes, drafts, bank acceptances, trade acceptances, along with government obligations. They were to be the collateral and the security for the Federal Reserve notes, i.e., they did not need collateral as they were the collateral. I need three case citations supporting this conclusion. There are no case citations supporting the conclusion. Why? Because the courts have made sure that that junk is not out in the public. Go back and pay attention. Now, notice what it says. I am really glad. How can you be glad? You're an AI model, you ignorant. Anyway, I am really glad you brought up the specific provisions of the Federal Reserve Act regarding collateral securities for bills of exchange. Let's dive into that, shall we? And then it does all of this junk from... 12 USC 412. I didn't ask it about all this junk. This junk is not in the original act. So I don't care about that. I, I won't even read that. So I said, can you explain the significance of the collateral requirements of section 16, 2, and 4? This was its suggestive questions at the bottom. It gave some suggestions. So I clicked on this one. The collateral requirements in the section 16, 2, and 4 of the act are significant for the issuance of Federal Reserve notes. And it starts talking about risk management and all this stuff. I don't care about that junk. What type of assets can be used as collateral for Federal Reserve notes? Another one of its questions, not mine. Federal Reserve accepts a variety of assets as collateral, and it mentions all this junk. I want you guys to pay attention. I want you guys to go and look at, read this, because it's important. You need to know what is and what is not necessary. So you're going to have to read it and understand why I'm doing this. What was the purpose of pledging collateral for Federal Reserve notes? Because that's my question. Because there had to be a pledge of collateral securities. So the purpose of pledging collateral for Federal Reserve notes involved several steps, varying depending on the type of collateral and the specified Federal Reserve, the specific Federal Reserve Bank. Here's a general overview. Go please read this. It is necessary for you to understand why there was a need for the pledging of collateral. So you do recognize that the Federal Reserve Act which is 59 statute 237 subsection 2 specifically says that promissory notes and or bills of exchange accompanied by the application packet otherwise known as federal reserve operating circle number 10 appendix number 3 operates as collateral and security for the loan now notice what it says now and i want you all to pay attention because this is the part you all are going to go read it has websites that it takes you to letting you know that i know what i'm talking about the application for federal reserve notes any Federal Reserve Bank can apply for the local Federal Reserve agent, blah, 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 blah. It breaks it down as to what you need to do. Then uh, that was it. That was that was it. It breaks it down, tells you what you need to do, ladies and gentlemen, and it tells you you need to have that application. Application for notes, collateral required. Y'all are not filling out the application. Lord have mercy. We told y'all what the application was. Told y'all the young man who gave me that. Y'all are not accompanying the application with the promissory note. Every person who calls me for a consult, that's what I tell them. But nobody, nobody, nobody did it. Sorry, youngster. You know I can't talk about certain things. Nobody did it. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want access to the discount window, read this entire conversation. This is the link. I got to copy it again. But this is the link that's going to be underneath the video. Okay? That's the link. So when you click on that link, it will take you to this conversation. I've already got the link. It's not on one of those do or die. You can't use this link no more. Okay? So the link is copied. Now, I've got to finish this video because I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning uh, having to go into town. And now I've been back. But I had, this is our meeting night. So Wednesdays is my longest day, and this really is a long day. I wanted to put this information out because I need to make sure you guys understand. Many of you have been trying to pay your bills, trying to pay your mortgages, trying to buy this and buy that. You've been doing those 1099As, and I don't know why you guys did that. There's nothing. You had no proof that a 1099A was going to buy you some stupid house. Just going off with some, some people doing videos talking about what they did. And you trusted them. No, 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 no. You trusted them, and here I am giving you the information, showing you the information, and you're going to just go take the easy route. All of you, the ones who lost money, 
That's what you get for being greedy. Because that's all that was. Thought you were going to get something for nothing. I'm telling you to follow the rules. You guys have not been following the rules. You've been wanting to take shortcuts. Shortcuts will get you nowhere. Shortcuts don't lead nowhere, people. Shortcuts lead you right back to where you started. Or further back in the line. Get out of line! Get back! Get, get, out, get out back there! You can't just be jumping and taking cuts in line! What you doing? Uh-uh! No, no, no! You stepped out of line! Now go get back over in there! In there. Now go on now! I'm gonna be coming up in here, gonna step out of line and act like he gonna go to a party or something. Then gonna come back knowing that we've been here for years and now he gonna just walk on back up in here thinking that somebody gonna save his spot? That's what you guys have been doing. And the system is regurgitating you. Spitting you out because it doesn't need you. So, go over the video. I promise you that song explains more than enough. It tells you exactly what you need to do. See, I can do that now because certain people are starting to figure it out. So I can put the information out without fear of reprisal. Sorry. There's just certain things I can't give you all at once. They know it. They've already warned me, okay? I'm just letting you all know. If you don't believe me, go and listen to all of the rappers, the artists who tells you about what they can and cannot do. Go ahead. Look at Bruce Springsteen. The boss. Go and look at the interview he did about the promise he made, the deal he made. I ain't made no deal with nobody, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling you that there are the powers that so called want to be, and I call them wannabes, but the God I serve tells me I have to respect them because they are relative respecting power. And so, because I have to do that, I have to respect them. And there are certain things they won't let me give you all at once. But, hey, combination of videos. There's an art to the madness. So, whether you believe it or not, I don't care. I told you, the video that literally says, I don't care what you think, that is about you people. The ones who don't want to pay attention to the information. The ones who want to get sidetracked with the sideline stuff the ones who don't want to recognize the value of the information for those of you who do recognize the value of information welcome 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 we're so glad to have you from beginning to end pay attention to the video please from beginning to end i promise you you'll appreciate the information now look i gotta go i can keep talking but i do that when i'm tired and right now that's what i is so have a good day everybody i'm about to go eat and go to sleep you Eat and go to sleep, you know, you say they and shut up out of my business. I'm sorry, I apologize. Oh, that's why I did the video. I don't care what y'all think. <laughs> oh Lord. I'm so glad people understand. Gotta go.